morning all of you today we have discussed the single lab adhesive joint console simulation in this video we have generally showing the simulation of adhesive joint and we have show the thermal distortion residual stresses and the distribution of the temperature so we start the video one by one first we have made the this plate through the solid box then we set the position x y z and the build selection and build all object now we have the union so we in case of union first we bulk object one then is about four four five and in the base there is adhesive here is about the build all object next we select the material first one is the uh, the base material is the we have select first the copper so generally we have select the two and three is the copper and this again is the filler epoxy we have select the filler epoxy and we had said this property of all materials filler epoxy everything now we are going to the solid mechanics so we have set all these parameter then the linear elastic material we set the temperatures that is u does my environment and the temperatures then we have go to the free then we go to the initial value then uh, equation view then go to the physics and then we'll set the boundary then we have select the fixed constraint then uh, we have select this and select this similarly then we have go to the again we set the force that is the total force so we apply the force around 10 newton sorry 10 kilonewton and we have select the x support because we have applied the x axis port in this direction then we have select the mass we have generally used the coarse mass because in coarse mass there will last time to do simulation then we are going to the study so now final video then we have see the first figure this is the one my stress distribution so we can easily have the residual stress so we can also see, show here the maximum and minimum value so we can easily show what is the distribution of the residual stress of this uh, adhesive joint if we apply the 10 newton load that is the adhesive strength so what is the one my stress then we can do the plot 3d critical plots we can do and then then we select the plot so this is the total displacement we have found the total displacement of our group and because of the applied of the 20 newton loads next uh, we again go to the study to the plot group and then we have selected volume and then we have change here expression then the solid mechanics we have select anything so we will kind of uh, properties so if we see the uh, 